Yet another of these ten major signs is the rising of the sun from the west. The rising of the sun from the west. And this is not something that the Quran explicitly mentions, but there is an implied verse. يَوْمَ يَأْتِي بَعْضُ آيَاتِ رَبِّكَ the day that some of your signs of your Lord will come, لا ينفع نفسا إيمانها لم تكن آمنت من قبل أو كسبت في إيمانها خيرا. Allah says in the Quran, by the way, this is Surah An'am, verse one fifty eight. Surah An'am, verse one fifty eight. The day that some of your Lord's signs will come, it will not benefit anyone to accept faith at that time if they had not accepted faith before. Now the Quran does not say the sun will rise from the west. The Quran simply says, when some of the signs come, Iman is of no use. Clear? Where do we learn that this ayah is a reference to the sun rising from the west? From hadith literature. And this is authentic. Bukhari, Muslim, the hadith are there. And of them, Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, Mutafaq Ali, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Qiyama will not occur until the sun rises from the west. And when the people see it, they will all believe. Then he recited this verse. That when they see some of the signs of their Lord, it will not matter if they believe at that time, if they hadn't believed before. So our Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam linked this ayah with what? The sun rising from the west. And in another hadith in Abu Dawood, the Prophet ﷺ said that the first of the signs will be the rising of the sun from the west and right after it, at duha time. Duha is, duha is what time? Duha is before Dhuhr. 9 to 11 o'clock, mashallah, it depends on where you're living. The Prophet ﷺ said, the first of these signs will be the rising of the sun from the west. Then right after at ad duha the Dabba will come. We'll talk about the Dabba in five minutes. Wait for me. The Dabba, we'll talk about it. Right after this, the beast will come. And the Prophet ﷺ said, whichever of these comes, the next one will follow immediately. In other words, maybe the Dabba will come at duha and the sun will come from the west the next day. Or maybe the sun will come from the west and the same day, because that's going to be the Fajr time, the same day the beast will come. So there are at least six or seven ahadith, three of them at least in Bukhari and Muslim, that mention the sun rising from the west. Now, this is something where, frankly, our minds have no majal. It is explicit, it is authentic. And so, سَمِعْنَا وَأَطَعْنَا You cannot make a reinterpretation. It's pretty clear. Yani the whole point now, there have been some people who say, oh, the sun can never rise from the west. So this means, mashallah, tabarakallah, American Islam will dominate the globe. Mashallah, tabarakallah. I, you know this is a famous interpretation uh, that uh, some people of this part of the world, uh, they, they consider that, oh, the sun rising from the west is a metaphor. And the metaphor is that Islam coming from the West shall dominate the globe. And okay, I mean, that's a bit of a stretch because the whole point here, the Quran is saying, when they see this sign, Iman is of no use. This means what? This is a sign that is simply beyond question. It's like the magicians of Fir'aun when they saw the staff become a snake. This is a sign, this cannot be magic. This is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is not some metaphor for Islam coming from the West because that's not something that is that amazing that the people will all accept Islam. No, that doesn't make any sense. This clearly seems to be something that we just have to believe the very last day of the existence, basically. The very last day of existence, yani the creation will change. And Allah ala kulli shayin qadir. And again, I don't see a problem with this because we're talking about literally, it's something that is before the trumpet being blown. It's something that is actually understandable even. That Allah azza wa jal will, يَوْمَ تُبَدَّرُ الْأَرْضُ غَيْرَ الْأَرْضِ وَالسَّمَاوَاتِ Everything will change before the trumpet is blown. And how that will happen and the metaphysics and physics, obviously, this is another issue where they come and say, and to this we say, indeed, I don't have an answer, but 
since the texts are so clear and this is the standard position of all of our ulama and so we say that there is no uh, leeway here and we accept it as it is and when will this happen this will happen essentially on the very last day of creation and that is why there is no point of a person accepting it's too late it's like Fir'aun when he sees the angel of death right he says oh I see the angel of death, I'll believe now. And what does Allah say? Al-an. Now? Rhetorical question. Now you're going to accept after all of this? No, it's not going to be accepted of you. And as our Prophet said, Allah will accept the tawbah of any person until he sees the angel of death. Right? So when you see the angel of death, that is it, it is gone, there is no. Now, another hadith says, Allah will accept the tawbah of any person until the sun rises from the west. So there clearly is an indication that the sun shall rise from that portion and it will be something that is manifest and clear. This is not normal and this is going to be the final day and everything is going to come to an end. So this is the issue of the sun rising from the west. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, told us that there are minor signs and there are major signs. Now, the minor signs, some of the scholars told us that all of them came to pass. We have witnessed all of the minor signs. Now, the concern of this presentation is about some of the 10 major signs of the approach of the hour. Five of those 10 seem to be cosmic in nature that they are related to certain happenings that are related to the cosmos. Certain universal happenings that will take place that will tell us that the hour is approaching. And one of them is that the sun will appear from the west instead of the east. We have known that for years and years and years. And we were told that the sun will appear from the west as a sign that the hour is approaching. Now, again, I remind myself and I remind my sisters and brothers that whatever I will mention from science that people really put as, as, as the, the absolute truth when we know it is not, but what we know from science is the following. What is happening? is that the earth has been rotating around its axis since the creation of the universe. In the beginning, our earth used to complete one complete circle around its axis in four hours. It used to be very fast and it has been slowing down since then. Now it completes one rotation around its axis in 23 hours, 56 minutes and 4 seconds. And scientists know that the speed is going to diminish. The earth is going to slow down up to a point where it will not be able to support any more decrease in its speed. When that will happen, the earth will behave like a spring that you rotate in a certain direction up to a certain point when you cannot really wind it any further in that direction. Then if you leave it, what will happen? It will start to rotate in the opposite direction and the earth is going to do that. That's what scientists tell us, that the earth is going to slow and slow and slow up to a point where it cannot, because of its mass, slow any further, then it will stop briefly and will start to rotate in a clockwise fashion. And guess what will happen when that takes place? The sun will appear from the west. And the hadith related through the authority of Hudayf ibn al-Yaman from Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about this is very clear. When the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is reported to have said that when the hour approaches, 
two knights will join each other and the people will wake up from the first night to see that the night is not over yet and they will be terrified and they will be scared and they will find that the sun did not come out and another night came and then two nights will appear in a row and then after that the sun will appear again but this time it will come from the west instead of the east when that sign is seen everybody will believe subhanallah even after the jal and isa comes down there are still going to be people who don't believe they will believe when they see the sun coming from the west they will say we believe we believe but when do you believe? after you've seen reality where were you before when the sun comes out of the west who are you going to resort to the righteous believers and the pious believers who wake up for tahajjud and pray the night for prayers, one of them will wake up at that night and pray to Allah. And he prays his usual prayers. He reads his juzo, his half a juzo, his two juzo, his three juzo. And then he gets to sleep. Usually, he reads his juzo, gets to sleep, wakes up for fajr. But this time, he'll read his juzo, he'll read what he usually reads, Gets to sleep, wakes up, he realizes the night is still long. So he prays to Allah again. And yet Fajr has not even entered. And then he sleeps again. Wakes up, thinks that Fajr is coming, about to enter. Prays again to Allah Azza wa Jal, sleeps again. Wakes up, he's still not Fajr. So he realizes something there. Draws near to mankind. Is there reckoning? Is there destruction? Yet they turn away in heedlessness.